Soledago Brugosa Fireworks. Soledago is, a, is an interesting genus of plants. I'm, I'm looking at this lovely uh, selection of Soledago Rugosa. It, they're the golden rods in common parlance. And this thing is full of pollinators. I'm seeing bumblebees, uh, honeybees, and there's some kind of uh, hornet on the, in the middle here. It's a wonderful late season wildflower. Also, it's a great cut flower. Um, what I like about Soledago rugosa fireworks is it stays fairly small. It's, a lot of the Soledagos are very aggressive plants with uh, not only setting seed and, and spreading by the germination of seed, but also underground runners. They will colonize an area very quickly. Uh, rugosa fireworks is a little bit uh, more restrained. It plays nice in the garden. So. Um, that's one of the things I like about it. I also like these lovely, they call it fireworks for a reason, these lovely sprays of golden yellow flowers pointing the same way on the branch. That's a lovely, lovely trait on this particular variety of Soledago rugosa. Another interesting aspect about Soledago the genus is that in the early part of the in 20th century, the rubber tree had uh, gone through a serious decline because of a, a disease that affected all of the plantings. So they were looking for other sources for rubber and Thomas Edison found, uh, was working on a cultural techniques and a breeding program to create a Soledago that would provide a source for rubber. And he had ended up with a 12-foot Soledago plant and actually his friend Henry Ford delivered a Model T to Thomas Edison with tires made from rubber from Soledago. In the genus Soledago, there are over 120 species. We looked at Soledago rugosa and that particular variety was fireworks. I'm not sure which one this is, but I wanted to emphasize that there are different um, sizes of plants. The Soledago um, rugosa fireworks, rather small, three, two and a half or three feet and some of the other species can quit, get, get well over five or six feet tall. They are very aggressive plants. If you allow them to set seed, they will set seed all over your garden. The, the underground runners will also colonize an area very quickly. They do like full sun. They will tolerate light shade. Soledagos are very forgiving as to soils. They're, not, they're tolerant of just about any type of soil except a very boggy soil. They do well in dry locations. They do well near roadsides, which makes me think that they are salt tolerant. Soledago, a wonderful American wildflower.